Hello YouTube, time for more Fallout 4. And I added a couple more uh, modifications to the game. I made one to make my flashlight a little bit better, and so I could basically put custom flashlights on. Don't worry, my big thing is I don't want to break any, like, thing. Okay, I believe I need to go to... Uh, let me go to my map quick. I want to head to... Oop. I want to head to Sanctuary. Because that's what I know where the armor workbench is for there, right off the top of my head. Hey, Piper. How could old Paul help you? What are you doing here? All right, hang on. I think it's. Well, let me pop out of here quick. Yeah. Always was a little jealous of folks who could craft something other than a paragraph. Recon sensors. Oh. I think that was for my newsboy cap. Oh. Advanced weave. Hyper. Okay, I can. Insulated lining. Reduce and immune to being set on fire. You have multiple tattoos on your hand? Oh, cool. Increases duration of chems. Wow. I need rank two in science for that. Hmm. Oh, I can make the armor invisible. Okay. Gray shadow. Well, I bet it looks awesome, Melissa. I need to repair anything on this. Alright. Commercial or commercial? Ah, I'm good on that. Don't need that. I'll check the detective cases actually. Hey, oh, before I do that, transfer. Oh, I've already stored all my junk. I don't need the syringer. I'll keep the Vitamatic. Actually. Here we 
we go, there we go, there we go. Alright. Alright, getting somewhere. Let me just pop out of here quick. I need rank two in science for that. We'll go with that. And immune to being set on fire. That might actually be really good. And sure. You're not supposed to be drawn on your hand with anything. Well, I think there might be a concern like it won't wash off or that kind of thing. That could be like... Set over to Diamond City Market. Far too busy to talk right now. I'm the mayor, after all. Holy shit. Now that is some armor. Yeah, hell yeah. And. The glasses look stupid, but my charisma is eight. Right, let's get a look in here. I didn't realize I had a level up. Hmm. Melee mods, not so much. What do I want for level 29? Uh, price 31. you lead by example. What is Kawa to you, Radio? Are they your cousin or brother? Uh, I think they might be an older sister. I need something that just actually Okay. I'm completely f 
fine on that. Water is my ally. Ah. Fusion cores. Robotics expert. Either science. Hmm. Honestly, I think I'll go with uh, point in endurance because I want to grab uh, Aqua Boy. No radiation damage when swimming is very useful. Emma. Thinking you won't fucking a bolt at Marty. I know it's been a while, but I came across a little mystery I thought might get your circuits firing. You remember that ugly grasshopper statue on top of Faneuil Hall? Turns out it's got a note in it. A note written by the son of one. when folks did shit like that. Mm. Apparently, this note leads straight to the old guy's stash. I don't know what's in it, but I'd sure like to know if it's still there. I'm gonna go do a little recon on the hall. If you decide you want to get the team back together, you let me know. Okay. The Gilded Grasshopper. Lane black top. Honestly, let's do uh, dangerous mines though. It's one I kept meaning to do, but I kept getting distracted. Why is everyone older than me? Uh, because you were born in 2013. Of supplies. Let's see what you've got. A bit of everything. All right. Oh. Sonic earpiece. Ooh, what's that? And it's charisma. Let me grab that. Agility and perception. Don't need the decal. Let me just see this. Out of my, this is just my curiosity. This wall and power armor. Ah, that's annoying. Don't let down the home team by a squatter. All right, what you got? Now, don't be shy. You're never too old to own a swatter. I'll take a look. Sure. Baseball history, right here. Not you, me. Yeah, I was saying. Because you were youngin. Swatter. Hmm. Don't walk outside the wall undefended. High quality protection for sale. Super Salon can give you the hairstyle. 
All right. Is there anything I need? Eh, I'll hold off. All right, I hadn't quite made it to Good Neighbor, but I can go from the Park Street Station. No one here is like 10, not to the best of my knowledge. Oh yeah. Okay. One more obituary. What? Where? Get him, Piper. Look at her. Go. She's like from Veronica from New Vegas with that power armor. Old granny burning bearing ground. Yep. Didn't even see me. Wow, it's boring. Let me help. Bring it. Get him, Piper! This is what death looks like. Come on, get up. Where'd they go? Give me the fan. Uh, bad move. We're either still here somewhere. Watch out. Oh, I know. Don't worry. Just about give away my position. Oh, that. Eh. Ooh, lots of frags. Yep. <laughs> it was somewhere. Somewhere above. No fall damage. Oh. Didn't I just kill him around here? No, oh, I blew him up the window. All right, that works. Onwards we roll. I'm a little teapot with no tea. What is my purpose and where shall I be? You shall be in my community. Talking in the YouTube chatty. Because it is funny.
Something up there got a beat on him. Ooh. I know I should be taking some of these and seeing if I can scrap and like mess with them. Uh. I'll take the decal. Easy. Bulbarov's best moonshine. Ugh. I just want to go to Good Neighbor, but apparently it's a goddamn war zone. Is Nicole older than you? I, I believe so. So how's y'all's days going? Good so far, good so far. Can't complain. Okay, well. I gotta go from this. Because I cannot see. Ooh, chems. I need to go farther down here and then make a right. Yeah. Okay, there it is. Okay, welcome to Good Neighbor. I can't hear her name is Ketchup. Hey, hold up there. First time in Good Neighbor? Psst. You can't go walking around without insurance. You better back off, or you're the one who's going to need insurance. Well, well, hey, all right. We'll just... Say your insurance is paid up for now. Oh. Okay. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. And you lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. But it's soon to let him go. Sean Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, 
you'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Oh! Now, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there, but a mayor's gotta make a point sometimes. You all right? Fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, I feel you. Good. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. Yeah, I'm good. Uh -huh. Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. I've got a few minutes to browse. Purchase a variety in case of boredom. Hmm. All right. What do you got for me in terms of weapons? Anything? Ooh, we've got the party starter. <laughs> I love that name. Tactical 50 BMG hunting rifle. Honestly, I will take all your shotgun ammo. Get rid of the mines just because I don't use them. Huh. I might actually look into upgrading the combat rifle. Basic 10 millimeter, I can just, I can take a hike. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Assaultron or Cleo. All right, we're going into the memory den. me I'm just the giant in power armor and stupid glasses I wish there was a better like charisma glasses there probably is I just don't know where they are Dr. Amari yes hey what's up this isn't a social call We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you two mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. 
I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Uh. <laughs> Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Bingo. Mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. <laughs> you really think this will work, Nick? No idea. But we got a missing kid on the line. That's worth the risk. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. Hmm. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. It's static. I, I, I can't miss any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. Mm. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Is Nick going to be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Hopefully, it'll be as simple as unplugging the implant once we're done. But that doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Uh, radio, I think my stepdad might be right. I'm getting, and I don't. Melissa, you are like 11. You are still growing as a person. These things will take time. Any idea what I'm going to see in there? I have no clue. But considering we only have a single piece of the medial temporal lobe and not the whole brain, I doubt it'll be cohesive. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Yeah. You are going to... You are not... Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We are going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Okay. Alright, what do we got? Yeah, ex exactly what Kawa said. That's the one thing you always have to remember, Melissa. You are still young. Ah, good. The simulation appears to be oh. working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Oh, jeez. There. 
This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Oh. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope Connie? someone else oh. is going to keep them sane. The teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days, like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. Any... I... I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. You have always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what they're looking for. Hmm. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. So that was just Kellogg as a, basically a child. When he got dirty cereal. They look fit. Well, guess what? It's the way someone walks, talks, acts, and dresses can give you a completely different impression of who they are as a person. Oh. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Mm. Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. But you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. No. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're going to be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's no, okay. I got it. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Yeah. Listen to Kawa, Melissa. They know what they're talking about. It comes... Because, yeah, remember, you are still growing. You are young. If you start getting worried about that kind of thing now, it is going to mess you up later in life. Trust me. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? 
<laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Oh. Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect it. Oh, so someone killed his family and he just went fucking ballistic. Went on a one man war machine. You're never too. Well, that. You're never too young to try something, but something that's going to physically harm you at a young age is a very, very, very bad idea. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. Y'all are being sketchy so, as fuck. Um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay nice hairline. Oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? Half up front. You want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek with us. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Okay. We're getting somewhere. see for myself if you really existed mm. we do as you can see what do you want it's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately this must stop i do what people pay me to do if that's a problem for you i can see only one way out and what's that mr kellogg if i'm working for you there's no more problem from what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. System is offline. <laughs> hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. There we go. He's got to tell us something. We're running out of brain here. Oh. Ah. Uh, ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. But. Melissa, you burn an insane amount of calories just existing right now, so. Manual oh. Over. Computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all just find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. They didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Not really. All right. This is the one. Here. The backup subject. Open it. Oh. They were all waking up. They were all awake for this. Is it over? Are we okay? Almost. Everything's gonna be fine. Come here. Come no, here. Wait. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean. 
Bang. Finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Am I... All right, we're good. I'm. Uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I hey, Kratos, welcome in. Have I checked out Follow yet? Whenever you're ready. Uh, it's. I've only watched two episodes. What do a Halo? Uh, never, I have no interest in the Halo show. From what I can tell, they absolutely fucking butchered it. With Fallout, they did a really good job. Is that your son? Oh, shit. This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Surgical journal. All right, take it easy, Melissa. And w yeah, welcome in, Kratos. I haven't seen the Halo TV series. I've seen two episodes of Fallout. I keep meaning to watch more, but I get. Kellogg. Oh. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate. The Corsair. The old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait. For our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Damn. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. Hmm. Well, no, I'm just barging in here like that. There we go. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. We have Resident Evil TV series? Uh, yes. I haven't watched any of it, though. As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. I haven't watched Halo, just not my cup of tea. Same. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. I might have said this, but I swear to God, if the KH movie is live action, it will flop. There's a high chance it might. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Mm. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Whoa. Bye. Portation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Ben. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. <laughs> Apologies, I had to sneeze. All right. It's bad enough. The live action Uncharted movies? Yeah, those were just called Indiana Jones. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever... 
never done this before. How do you feel? Uh. Am I okay? Are you seeing anything bad? Don't be alarmed, but I honestly don't know what to look for. As I said before, this is uncharted territory. But your neural and physiological readings have returned to normal. Hey. From a medical standpoint, you're fine. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? You were along for the ride, weren't you? You saw what I saw. Yes, but it's important we review everything together in case either of us missed anything. There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. W Virgil, th that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there, not even to hide. Huh. Why? What makes the glowing sea so dangerous? The name says it all. Radiation. So much that nothing there could possibly live. Nothing pleasant. Navigating radioactive hazards is nothing new. But the glowing sea can kill a man in seconds. Oh, That's damn. Why it doesn't make sense. Virgil fleeing into that hell. The exposure alone. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak, a way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If hmm. Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. I'll find a way to get through the rats. Don't worry. Good luck and be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Hey. Alright. That's one heck of a get up, Lou. Thank you. I always look to impress you, Piper. Sonic your face just stays in. Right. All right, let me go talk to Nick. There he is. Still in there? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. Okay. All right. Let's GTFO.